I'm Bob Coleman. Welcome to the Coleman Report. Today we're talking about Barbie Swindler doll. Hey, what happened during PPP, uh, we, we were all um, locked in. SBA and lenders verified, I should say, lenders verified ID, and you took a picture through your cell phone. Well, a number of fraudsters used the Barbie doll. This is a clip from a House hearing last week where Representative Bean from Florida was highly critical of, of uh, SBA for allowing this to happen and questioned Inspector General Hannibal Mike Ware of how SBA and the Inspector General is going to recoup these fraud losses. Enjoy. Sorry, only in, uh, only in crazy town would you ask for more money. Thank you, more money when you can't handle the money we're giving you now and uh, do it with a straight face. That is crazy. One of the most disturbing stories to come out of the SBA during COVID is the PPP and idol scams that involved the Barbie face doll scam. Now, everybody knows one of America's favorite dolls is Barbie. Uh, we love Barbie. We love uh, Malibu Barbie, presidential Barbie. You know, you can get Dr. Barbie or even lawyer Barbie. But it seems con men have hijacked Barbie. And uh, I present to you Swindler Barbie. How about that? This is actual faces, uh, committee members and ladies and gentlemen, actual faces. Barbie was taken hostage and created Swindle Barbie where, where people up to no good used Barbie and other dolls to create fake identities to steal taxpayer monies. So clearly someone uh, at SBA is living in Swindler Barbie world. I say before you that we are not just living in crazy town, but we have moved into Barbie's $200 billion crazy town dream house on Looney Tune Lane. So IG Ware, I appreciate you coming forward with your testimony, and I love that you're a man of truth. Uh, I think we all know that it's going to take a lot of work to claw back all of this money. In fact, according to your own report uh, of the more than 250,000 hotline complaints you received since the start of the pandemic, more than 90,000 of them were actionable leads. This represents, according to your uh, data, 100 years of investigative casework. Let me say that again. It's it's a hundred years of investigative casework. Only in crazy town does this happen. Will you be able to, IG Ware, to keep the committee updated on how much money is clawed back as you begin this century's uh, long casework load? Absolutely. Very good. Uh, what's your plan? What's, we talked a little bit before and you said there is a plan. What is the plan to begin clawing back this money? So our plan is important to, to, to be on record with this. The numbers that I have given in terms of what the results of our office are are not the only results in government. There's more. So the FBI has their own cases, Secret Service, um, FDIC, IG. I could go on and on and on and on. The PRAC has some. So it, the number is really um, a lot larger, and it's magnified, um, um, made even exponentially more impactful with the, the DOJ strike forces and the, task, the U.S. Attorney task forces. Relative to my office, though, right, we have a prioritization um, framework that allows us to go after the most egregious actors fast. And that's how we've been, been doing this. Right. And some of these egregious actors have, have hundreds of loans under their name or under a single uh, fake number. Is that correct? Correct. A, a, single, a single case, and we've had a single case close 800 hotlines, hotline complaints. So it, it, it could work like that. Should uh, for those that have stolen money from the taxpayers, should they be worried right now? I, I think you should be worried. We have a, a 10 year statute of limitations and we're bringing I, I'm just one part of the enforcement um, activity that is taking place across the nation. Now, we've been told we've been told that uh, if you stole less than 100 grand, we're not going to worry about you anymore. We're just going to let it go and pretend it didn't happen. Uh, what say you to somebody that stole, still stole, but below that threshold? Are we going to go after them too, Inspector Ware? I believe we had a recent, a very recent um, press um, release with, with 13,000. So it, it, it depends on where it, where it falls, right? But we, 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 weigh, we weigh it all.
Are you familiar with uh, Swindler Barbie now? Have you heard that before? I'm not, in, not in that way, but I did, I did get um, pulled up to speed on this today. Inspector Ware, thank you so much for coming forward. I yield back the remainder of time. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Gentleman yields back. And